Hi guys, hope you are well. Of course, we heard, didn't we, for so long, a ridiculous, irresponsible scaremongering about what could or may happen in Dover if the UK dared to take back control outside of the European Union. It's funny, isn't it? Aside from a little bit of media coverage in early Jan, you basically haven't seen the TV cameras down there at all. Let me know if you've seen any reports recently on what's been going on. Certainly, of course, if there's been any negative news, I'm sure they would have been parked in Dover because that seems to be the way some of the media operate now. They seem hungry for negativity. But as the Port of Dover confirm today, have confirmed from the horse's mouth, traffic continues to flow smoothly through the Port of Dover post-Brexit transition. As Guido Fawkes has noted, despite hysterical claims from some lefty newspapers, again, these are people I'm sure that will be determined to be miserable as much as possible about Brexit because they don't accept that they were wrong. Despite these hysterical claims that EU exports had dropped 6 by 68% in January, Dover ports have confirmed that trade has already bounced back to 90% of volumes typical for this time of year. And that is despite the requirement for hauliers to have a negative COVID test. As Conservative MP Owen Patterson notes, contrary to the Project Beard stories, the port of Dover is already welcoming 90% of freight traffic, volumes typical for this time of year. In spite of COVID and previous stockpiling, port of Dover, he notes, handles up to £122 billion or 17% of the UK's trade in goods. And again, I think the facts are important here because you will see uh, still some hardcore Remainers still talking about what could or may happen instead of reality of what is happening. If you go on the Port of Dover website, as they themselves say, traffic continues to flow smoothly through the Port of Dover post the Brexit transition. A month on, they write, since the end of the Brexit transition period, the Port of Dover is pleased to already be welcoming over 90% of the freight traffic volumes typical of this time of year following the significant stockpiling experience before Christmas. Sarah West, the Chief Operations Officer at the Port of Dover, has said, I'm really encouraged to see such a positive start to the new year as we adapt to the new systems and processes involved in a new post-Brexit transition era. The message to hauliers is that as long as you come to Kent border ready and with a negative COVID test, that it won't be long before, you're, before you are on your way to France on the shortest ferry crossing. So that is what the Port of Dover are actually saying. Those are the facts. Once again, it contrasts starkly, does it not, with that doom and gloom we heard for so long from those who put it about that the UK couldn't possibly survive outside of the EU. That's been proven to be absolute nonsense. These are the facts. And I think it's important, again, to highlight positive news on this channel, something I'm going to continue to do. So as ever, guys, thanks for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and informative. And please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss my next video. And of course, as ever, thank you so much for watching.